Hey guys, this is Moogie from Tactic Airsoft. Today we're going to be looking at some uh, performance mods on this uh, LCT AK. So let's start to dig in and start the process and analyze all the parts for internals that we have here. So we span from all kinds of little internal parts. Some of them you may recognize, some of them you may not know. So uh, I want to go through basically the process. Uh, the first most uh, important part basically is the spring. The, that's kind of the heart of any AEG for performance wise. If you don't have a good spring, by default you're going to really have really bad performance. Uh, one of the important things is this is a dual stage spring. You'll notice in the back there's kind of like a, the coils are really tight and when we go into the front of the spring this uh, the coils are a little bit opened. This is actually really important. If you don't place the spring right, uh, you're actually putting it in the wrong uh, setup in the gearbox and you'll get uh, mixed performances. So this is something that's really important. One of the things to test your spring, you just kind of roll it around and you can see it really rolls nice. So that's a good spring. If it starts wobbling, then you have some issues. Some of the other parts we can look at are performance parts versus standard parts. These are the motors. Um, a lot of people like to upgrade their motors. Uh, one of the main reasons is basically to have a faster response time, better torque, uh, better strength for pulling, so you can basically pull a bigger spring or uh, pull at a faster uh, rate of fire. So these are what we would look at if we're upgrading basically an AK with the short motors. Um, one of the other important parts in my mind is basically the spring guide. Uh, this is basically very important. This helps in consistency uh, and consistency in airsoft equals accuracy. So as you can see here, this is a spring guide V3. It has uh, a bearing setup. And if you notice, there's these little heads, sides. These wings basically go inside the gearbox. So if you look, this would go here when it's inside the gearbox. So make sure you don't make a mistake and get a V2 uh, instead of a V3 when you're doing on an AK. So it's really important to get the right version for the right gearbox. So, I'll put this here, and let's continue on. So, speaking of the gearbox, um, we have here two gearbox shells. We have both an aluminum, they're both aluminum. One basically has what we have as open bearings. Uh, these are nine millimeter bearings, and then the other one has sealed uh, bearings. Uh, both are really good. Uh, honestly, this one basically goes a little bit faster. They're nine millimeter, uh, so the rate for spinning is actually is uh, a lot. Uh, it's a lot higher for you can get higher speed rates uh, for spinning with this type. But this, for longevity wise, these are a little bit safer. Um, why change the gearbox shell? Well, a lot of the gearboxes that come in basic AEGs are fragile. So after a while, they tend to break and they'll break in this kind of area right here, or like I said, or right there. So uh, it's a strong recommendation for anybody who loves his AG and wants to keep it for a long time is to change the gearbox shell to a CNC aluminum one. So this is a big recommendation for performance and longevity of any AEG. Um, Something else to look at are basically gears. Uh, a lot of the standard gears that come with the AEGs, uh, some of them are of somewhat quality, uh, some of them are good, uh, but if you want to have something that's a little bit uh, higher performance, you can always look for a 13 to 1 uh, gear ratio. You can have uh, basically higher ones if you want, but this basically gives you good response and also a really good rate of fire. Uh, and also these gears are really, really solid. But when looking at having solid gears and setup with the gearbox, the most important part is shimming. Yes, a lot of people forget about shimming. Shimming is when you adjust the gears inside the gearbox to make sure that they spin properly. Um, when doing this, it's really important to have multiple uh, sizes to make sure you get really good accuracy. What happens is that when the gears spin inside the gearbox, I'll say spinning like butter, uh, at this point, what happens is that you tend to have a friction, practically a friction-free environment to work in. Uh, this will give you the best performance and consistency uh, for pulling back the spring. Uh, it will give a longer life to your motor and all the other internal parts, actually. 
So um, one of the other in intriguing internal parts are uh, cylinders. A lot of stock cylinders are okay. Some of them are made out of a softer metal, so over time they tend to either change shape, uh, warp or scratch. You can get like a, a, a stainless steel uh, cylinder. Uh, honestly, it doesn't do much for performance wise, but uh, you will over time basically have less wear. You'll have more consistency. So it's a, it's a better part to have uh, if you want to upgrade and it's not very expensive. So it's a recommendation if you're going to change your gearbox shell, I would change to a solid uh, steel uh, cylinder. Now looking on the other internal parts, uh, so we have here the um, cylinder head. Uh, changing the cylinder head I find is really important just for the fact that this is the part that takes all the abuse, so it takes the hit of the uh, piston head and it's kind of really important for seal. As you can see, this one has a double seal. A lot of uh, piston heads, uh, sorry, cylinder heads by default will be plastic and they'll only have one seal. This is a dual seal. This is something really important and you have a rubber backing for impact. Um, I'll go straight to the uh, piston heads here and kind of take a look. One of the recommendations we have for like basic upgrades is an aluminum uh, piston head with a seal and bearings. This is the recommendation. A lot of standard guns uh, have plastic ones. We recommend to go to aluminum. For the ones that do have aluminum, you're already starting with a high quality part. But if you go a little bit higher, what you can get here is a dual uh, seal uh, piston head. What this means is there's a first seal that basically uh, guarantees the position of the piston head inside the cylinder and with lubrification gives it a really nice flow and consistency. And then you have the outer, um, the outer seal for basically creating the perfect air seal. So this is something that I recommend to anybody who wants to basically get the most amount of air out of his piston and keep uh, consistency and quality and accuracy. So let's go to the pistons themselves we have here two different setups uh, we have uh, basically a lightweight piston this is basically made for a heavy rate of fire you'll notice that both of them are all metal uh, this is something that we do recommend uh, to have all uh, steel uh, teeth uh, the single teeth uh, pistons are not something that we recommend uh, we recommend all the uh, the, the full teeth uh, systems. The reason why, uh, basically, it's to make sure that uh, everything goes well and you basically have a better longevity. You have the hookup here and you have the hookup there. This basically is a bit of a, a more robust piston, so this will give you a little bit more longevity. Uh, this is a higher speed piston. It's robust also, but it's lightweight because of the holes. Some people might call these Swiss cheese pistons you'll see them on the market or you can actually drill them yourselves but I do not recommend doing it yourself unless you really know what you're doing so these are the two types of performance uh, pistons uh, that we do recommend when it comes to nozzles uh, you'll notice here there's two nozzles well it's because in the AK world not many people know but there's uh, a few lengths of uh, nozzles there's the AK short and the AK long nozzle so when you're doing your upgrade, please make sure that you know which one that, you're, uh, that you need. So look at the measurements and then see which one you have. These basically have dual seals inside. Uh, they're very robust uh, and they basically don't wear out and they tend to not uh, break as easily up front if there's anything. So this is what we would recommend as an upgrade part. And last but not least, the hop-up unit. This is something that I would recommend for anybody uh, when it comes to performance parts. It doesn't do much in, uh, in helping accuracy and whatnot, but what it does, it is more robust. So at the end of the day, what will happen is that when you're inserting your mag, uh, you won't break the plastic part. Uh, you won't basically break the plastic body. This will be a solid and a lot more rugged uh, performance for your AK. Um, and it keeps everything really rock solid and steady. So it helps in the positioning of the bucking and whatnot. So it helps in the other parts and makes the other parts more performant in that sense. So this is kind of my rundown for the performance and tune-up and modding of an AK. 
So this was uh, Mugi from Tactic Airsoft. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave comments at the bottom if there's any questions about this video. Thanks. See you guys.